name is Brian Leesinger. I am the executive director of the Heart Mountain Wyoming Foundation. We manage the Heart Mountain World War II Japanese American Confinement Site here between Cody and Powell, Wyoming. It is a National Historic Landmark site. And this year we've engaged in a project to return an original Heart Mountain Barrack, uh, the first Heart Mountain Barrack to come back. At one point there were over 450 of these structures and we're lucky to be able to, to preserve one and in fact save it from demolition and return it to the site. It's a powerful artifact of camp life and we believe that it'll give our visitors uh, a great experience uh, in terms of communicating and expressing what it would have been like to be a Japanese American from the West Coast brought from their homes, um, forced from their homes and confined here uh, in, a, in a very desolate place. Yeah, the barrack was on an Iowa State University field camp near Shell, Wyoming. It had been there for 50 years housing students uh, for their field studies camp. And they contacted us before they were going to demolish it because they knew it had historic value and wanted to give us a chance to save it. And in fact, they delayed their process, their, their construction process there and allowed us to put a pan plan in place. Um, we did some fundraising as well as preparing the site, which involved an archaeological study to make sure that we had the correct placement. Uh, once we determined that, uh, we went ahead with, with uh, the construction of a foundation, concrete foundation, to ensure that it lasts. And it took a, a tremendous grassroots effort to make this happen, both locally and nationally. People who contributed, um, we got a grant from the Wyoming Cultural Trust Fund, as well as a tremendous grant from the Foundation for the Episcopal Diocese of Wyoming to help make this happen. So between that and individual donors, that's really what, what drove the project. You know, the one thing about these buildings is they were not built to last. They were built quickly with cheap materials by relatively unskilled uh, craftsmen. These were not carpenters. And so what we have to do now is take a building that wasn't made to last and preserve it for uh, many more years to come.